Peyton Manning, he was upset on that failed third down conversion. And they got stopped short with Julius Thomas. And the Chiefs, after the punt, take over at the 10 with Nile Davis. Well, we'll show you why he was mad, Jim. Top of your screen, Julius Thomas go outside. Now it's one-on-one -on -one with Demarius Thomas against his defender. Instead, what do you have? Two-on-one, and they tackle him short of the first down, and watch Peyton Manning here. You ever seen Peyton get this upset in his no. whole career? No, I think it's as bad as I've ever seen him, but it's frustration last week in the second half, here today, now the fourth quarter. Understandable. Second and six. And that's Bassano with a first down at the 21. Saturday, the short of the first down. Rondé Barber with help from McCoy up front. You talk about getting in the right play. What he saw right here, he saw Rondé Barber. You got a light guy in there? Let's run right at him. Rondé Barber's a heck of a player, but he's 180 pounds. So Peyton Manning. He thinks it's pretty simple. You see a small guy in there, we're going to run it right at you. Third and three. And the first down catch made by Eric Decker. So it's been all Demarius Thomas today. But Eric Decker comes in with a five-yard first down catch. What a throw by Peyton Manning hitting Decker right on the money and what I'm chuckling about Peyton Manning just chastised the crowd for being too loud after the play looked at him told him to be quiet one more time I don't know why he doesn't go up into the crowd he directs everybody <laughs> first and 10 at the 47 of the Broncos he could direct the Boston Pops the way he looks down there Moreno stop and go gets into Bucks territory Picking up five. And here's Peyton Manning after that last third down. He looks to the sidelines and he tells the fans, please, <laughs> come on, I'm trying to do some work out here. He's staring at him. Look at him. <laughs> you think he's in charge? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Second down and boy, this crowd is quiet. Second down and five. They listen. Quick pass to Tammy. And Tommy will be about a yard and a half short of the first down. Bowers on the play. Lance Ball checks in. Fans doing nothing. <laughs> Folding their arms. You would too if he told you to be quiet. I would in a minute. In fact, I think I'm too loud up here. Fans behaving nicely. Third down and one. Empty backfield. Manning's pass. Got it. First down to Tammy again. Boy, does he like Jacob Tammy today. That is his eighth catch. He and Thomas each with not make it nine for Tammy. And Thomas with eight, 17 of Manning's 20. Well, Peyton won't have to stay up quite as late tonight. Returning text like he did on Sunday night. So many out there to congratulate him. Wide-ranging friendships from the country music field to, of course, in football as old coaches, legendary quarterbacks of yesteryear, current quarterbacks, all the assistants, golfers from Tiger Woods to Phil Mickelson to Bubba Watson, on and on. You know how he is about returning texts. He spent probably about as much time Sunday night just saying hey thank you as he did as long as it took to beat San Francisco in the game itself well I think now he can sit back and cherish what he's done and maybe celebrate a little because he did that Sunday night the turnaround is so quick you can't even sit there and enjoy the victory for a, a day in 96 hours in 96 hours they put up what, 77 points Ball start, offense number 71, five-yard penalty, second down. Yeah, he's getting mad. You know, he gets mad at his players, the coaches, so this time he's mad at the fans. <laughs> you know, we've had a chance to see in person Denver three times. We've seen everybody from... Second and three. Danny hits on the as he throws, and then he's able to complete.
complete it to his regular season teammate Jerry Rice and that's a first down at the 11 yard line. Hugh Douglas put the pressure on, we go to Swanee. Well, I thank you, Al. You were talking about Marvin Harrison. Who was throwing that ball to him, Peyton? Well, it was Rich Gannon, but uh, uh, <laughs> he's kind of my guy. He better not be taking him back with him. Uh, what, what does it take between the quarterback and the receiver to get 143 receptions? <laughs> well, it takes a quarterback who has a lot of confidence in one guy. And I played with Marvin my whole career. He's one of those guys that you know on every single play, he's going to get open and you can count on him. So, uh, throwing out here with Jerry Rice, it's hard to throw to Marvin all the time, too. But uh, pick it up. Um, I'm just lucky to call him a teammate. Now, you, you talk about trust and confidence. Uh, there was an article, a story, Mike Vanderjack and your team made some comments questioning maybe your passion and your and, and, and the personality of you and Tony Dungy as to being winners. Yeah, that's hard to believe, Lane. I mean, here we are. I'm out of my third Pro Bowl. I'm about to go in and throw a touchdown to Jerry Rice. We're honoring the Hall of Fame. We're talking about our idiot kicker who got liquored up and ran his mouth off. So... Hey, Al, Dan, what has the sports world come to? We're talking about idiot kickers. He has ruined kickers for life. Akers and Vinatieri, these guys are great guys. They've been getting killed all week because our idiot ran his mouth. So when I get home, I'll deal with it. Tony and I talk about it. It's kind of funny, really, when you think about it. Uh, get in. Uh, if he is still a teammate, we'll deal with it. You know, that remains to be seen. But the sad thing is, Lynn, he's a good kicker. He's a good kicker, but he's an idiot. Hey, Dan, what do you think about this? <laughs> Peyton, I think you've already uh, dealt with it. Yeah. Hey, Peyton, stop beating around the bush. <laughs> I counted four idiots, but I Woo. missed one. Yeah. Well... I think there might be an AP story out within about the next 45 seconds. Yeah, I think Monster.com may have a <laughs> kicker coming Indy's way. Meanwhile, Travis Henry caught the pass and took it in for the touchdown. And on the extra point by Vinatieri is good. Go back and take a look at the Henry touchdown. Henry having a breakout season with the Buffalo Bills. It's 21-3 American Conference. down at 10. Pump and go. Sanders fingertip grab and a touchdown. Beautiful execution. Peyton Manning and Emmanuel Sanders for the second time tonight. And here come flags after the play. Peyton Manning and DJ Swearinger with words. How about that? Unfortunately, DJ's in that situation where J.J. Watt was talking about if you just won, you don't need to get chippy. After the touchdown, unsportsmanlike conduct, offense number 18 with a taunt. That penalty will be added to the kickoff. I don't have it in front of me, but I am going to guess that is the first time Peyton Manning has been flagged for a taunt in his now 17-year career. And that's a carryover to earlier in the week. Look at that. And a nice little kiss to the hat, too, huh? I tell you, you know, having spent time with 